Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. It's after 4 o'clock and I'm just now starting dinner, but I make quick dinner. That's good. Okay, I'm starting with some canned Glory Greens. Yeah, I said canned. I, I like turnip greens the best. The Glory canned greens. And I'm using some canned sweet potatoes. Alright, so let me lower this and I'll be making some Jiffy cornbread mix and I'm going to show you how I'm making these uh, sweet potatoes. Okay, let me lower this. Okay, I got my sweet potatoes in here. I poured out all the liquid. When I put the sugar in here, that's going to make a syrup. Don't need the liquid at all. I'm just putting regular white granulated sugar up in here. That goes first. What is this? A cup? Yep, I need all that. Whole cup of sugar. I'll be adding some cinnamon. Cinnamon. I don't know about a tablespoon. I don't know. That's a little dab of nutmeg. Just a touch. Then coming out. like a pinch. Did y'all see that? That's all you need. Don't overdo the nutmeg because you'll be sorry. And some butter. Let me use a half a stick of butter. And put this up. Okay, I need to stop. Okay. And these are my grains. That's how they look. I got two cans of Glory Grains. These are delicious, y'all. You really don't need to add anything to the greens. Okay. So I'm not going to cook these just yet because the meat ain't, has not been cooked yet. Let's see what I'm doing. Chicken broth. You have to eyeball it. That should be enough. Start using these brown eggs. Just because this whisk. Scrape the bottom. I 
specifically bought it for my pound cake pan. But I'm going to use it in here. I think this will only fill... Paper towel. Get all the nooks and crannies. But you don't want it to look like that. I'll take a pastry brush. I do have a pastry brush. My sister bought me this pan too. Starting not to do cornbread. But that's what goes with greens. That was too far. I'm going to use it all, and if it's too full, then I'll just let it run over. It's okay. Look, making a mess now. Sorry, air fryer oven. So I'm going to bake this at 350. And I just have to watch it because it's not going to take long. Put it on the bake function. It ain't going to take no 30 minutes. Set it for 20 minutes. Start, I'm gonna let it preheat. Now we're gonna, okay, this is through preheating. It let it beat. It let me know it was through preheating. The box says to um, turn your oven to 400 for 15 to 20 minutes, but this is a different oven. So I'm doing it 350 for. 20 minutes. Start. Turn the light on. Okay, and I'll just watch it. So now I'm going to unplug this so I can go to the other side of the kitchen. Okay. I'll be using my Borlevi Bo air fryer to bake some chicken. Chicken legs. I've been doing legs lately because uh, wings have gotten so expensive. Okay, I have a parchment paper up under this grill 
There I go. I forgot what you call it again. This here thing. See the parchment paper. So, put these legs in here. I've already marinated these legs for about two days. Chicken legs. I don't want to touch them. These are some big old legs, y'all. This is a 10 quart air fryer, so it holds quite a bit. These are five chicken legs. And I'm not going to spray any oil on them because they're naked. And the skin makes its own oil. Okay. That's how they look. Get over there. Pull it out from, from the wall. 400 for, I think about 26 minutes. These are some big old legs. Okay. Highly seasoned chicken legs. They've been marinated, so all that goodness have gone all through there. So, I'll show you what I got on today. Got on one of these Timu shirts, paired it with orange caprice. I love color. Okay, I'll be back when something gets done. I'm gonna show you how this uh, this oven is doing. I'm taking a chance running both of these things at the same time. Where's the, here it is. Okay. This is how the cornbread muffins are looking so far. Okay, you know what, I'm going to cook these, I'll just leave them here. I'm going to pour some jalapeno pepper juice. I save these juices, y'all, because they season so well. Putting this in here, give it a nice twang. And some black pepper. That's all this needs. You don't need any salt. Sometimes I mix, I buy the mixed grains and still mix it with the uh, turnip greens. You can put a can of spinach in there and that's good. Okay. While I'm watching everything, I'm going to show y'all this cute knife set my daughter Jackie bought me for, what day was it, Mother's Day? Look at this, y'all. It's so nice. You got this kitchen shears, you got steak knives, you got all kind of knives. And look at the color. It's pretty. I don't know what this is called. So far, I've only used the steak knives. Okay. This is going to turn into a syrup. All the sugar and butter up in here. This is flavor, y'all. 
So I'll be back. See all that juice this is making? Just from the sugar turn into a syrup. Of course the butter melted. So I'm gonna let it cook and thicken. So that's what it's gotta do, not thicken. Coming here. Mmm, it smells good. You know, you, know, you can make uh, sweet potato cobblers. I'm not making none though. This is just my good old candy jams. Oh, I was going to put the thing on here. I got this down low. Try these greens, y'all. They're really, really good. If you don't feel like picking greens, washing and picking greens and all that. I'm sure these greens ain't washed like you would wash them yourself. But we eat a lot of stuff that people ain't going to fix like we would. Got one uh, turnip in here. They say it got turnips in it. I found one. There's another one. Okay, I see them. I got red peppers in here. But this is good eating. So, just going to let this simmer. Put the top on. And this is how my cornbread is looking now. Got about five minutes left. I'm gonna watch them because I don't want them to be dry. Okay, my cornbread just just steeped. I couldn't find a skewer. I was looking for a skewer so I can test the doneness. me but I still test them so I'm using a knife came out clean so cook them at 350 for 20 minutes these cool about 10 minutes then I'll pour them in a bowl or something. Some candy yams are done. Look at that thick syrup. Oh my goodness. I want to hear eat sweet potato pie. You don't want no candy, yeah. It's okay, it's more for me. It smells so good. Mmm. I love turnip greens. A lot of people, most people like collards. Most people I know they like collards. Like turn of greens. Check this. Chicken is looking good. I'll be back. Okay, here's my Sunday dinner, y'all. Turnip greens, candied yams, cornbread, and baked chicken legs. No breading. And my cornbread didn't come out pretty like I was expecting it to, but it all tastes the same. Crumbs taste the same as a whole piece of cornbread. So let me get this thumbnail. Okay, there you go. So.
So I'm gonna taste the greens. When I pause, I always thank the Lord for my food, yeah. This is steaming hot. Mm. Don't need no salt. It's good, y'all. It's a sweet potato. Uh -uh. Chicken is still too hot. I'm trying to pull some of the skin off. A little piece. Crispy, even though there's no breading on it. It's seasoned well. This is this cornbread. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now it's 454. I'm not sure what time I told you it was when I started, but I think this is a dinner, a good dinner I got ready in less than an hour. Okay, I see something on my screen. Okay, I got it. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. You all have a very blessed rest of your Sunday. And for folks who can't cook, you ain't got to know how to cook. Get you some canned stuff already seasoned and cooked. I know how to cook, okay? But I choose to do it the easy way now. And raise the family. They're grown and gone. And Walter would prefer Real greens. I say, I'll show you how to cook. I'm washing and <laughs> cook. I ain't been bothered with no greens. But anyway, the glory greens are delicious. So, bone apple teeth. I'm gone for real now. Bye.